What's the crack? In this series, we have seen terrible attempts from non-natives to do the Northern Irish accent. Understand it, you, you big girls, blaze. They're gone. And we have analysed understandably excellent attempts from native Northern Irish speakers. Hi. Hi, is it still sticky? She cries her tears, then make rain. So now in this video, we're going to look in detail at Natasha's outstanding, yet non-native, Northern Irish accent as she plays Deirdre, an IRA operative in the 1998 film Ronan. That's where they want to do the exchange. If this is your first time here, I'm Alistair, an English teacher and Northern Irish dialect coach. To know more about English, languages or accents, consider subscribing. If, like Natasha, you're serious about mastering your Northern Irish accent, then contact me using the details in the description below. Thanks to Ben for the video suggestion. Our first feature is possibly the easiest way to make yourself sound more Northern Irish. We're moving. Listen again to this word. We're moving. This feature is the in rather than ing sound in words ending in ing. To make this sound in British English, which Natasha uses, being from Surrey, England, you lift the back of the tongue. Ing. Ing. However, in Northern Irish English, which Natasha has absolutely mastered, you lift the front of the tongue. In. In. Notice how your tongue moves differently. Ing. In. Ing. In. Moving. Moving. We're moving. We're moving. Walking. Walking. I enjoy walking. I enjoy walking. Having. Having. Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? Our second characteristic seems to be many people's favourite for some reason. Can you find this place? That information isn't necessary. Oh, All right. Is but I'm not under any obligation to let you know. Pay attention to the diphthong A in the highlighted words. Can you find this place? That information isn't necessary. Oh, is All right. Is but I'm not under any obligation to let you know. In standard British English, as with all diphthongs, the mouth has to move. There are two vowel sounds, as in place, a, place. However, in Northern Irish English, we shorten this sound into one sound, place. Place versus place. Let's compare the words Deirdre uses in the movie. You should feel the different movement in your mouth. Information, information. Obligation, obligation. If you want to practice this aspect of your Northern Irish accent, practice saying these words on screen now. It, train, is, kit. It, train, is, kit. Again, kudos to Natasha. She smashes it and so can you. Next up, we'll consider this tricky feature. That's where they want to do the exchange. The answers to your questions, I'll know when I get back. All what right. But I'm not under any obligation to let you know. You'll get your money when we get the kiss. Notice the pronunciation of the R, R, sound at the end of these selected words. That's where they want to do the exchange. The answers to your questions I'll know when I get back. Under You'll get your money. Most accents in Great Britain, apart from those in the West Country, do not pronounce the R sound at the end of words. They would use the schwa or a long vowel sound instead. Where. However, in Northern Irish English, the R is always pronounced. Where. Where versus where. The Northern Irish accent is described as rhotic, which means any language where every R is pronounced, always in every circumstance. Listen to the comparison. Answer, answer. Under, under. You, your. To be honest, this sounds completely ridiculous, the sound is extremely difficult for anybody from Northern Ireland because we pronounce all R's all of the time. In any case, I'm again thoroughly impressed that Natasha nails it. As you've already seen, to have any accent, you need to be able to master particular sounds. Here's another important one in the Northern Irish accent. The answers to your questions I'll know when I get back. That information isn't necessary. All right. Is but I'm not under any obligation to let you know. You'll get your money when we get the kiss. Pay attention to the final T, T sound in these words. I'll know when I get back. That information isn't necessary. But I'm not under any obligation to let you know. 
You'll get your money when we get the kiss. Most British accents pronounce the T sound at the end of words. Get, that, but, not. I'll get that one, but I'm not buying this one. In the Northern Irish accent, you lift the tongue to the roof of the mouth as if to make the T sound, but then you flatten it out and don't actually say it. Get, that, but, not. I'll get that one, but I'm not buying this one. Next up is one simple word that every Northern Irish speaker uses. You're going to exchange for cash? Aye. In short, it means yes. I'm told Natasha was able to ace the difficult Northern Irish accent solely because she hired an on-screen dialect coach during the movie. To do the same, contact me using the details in the description below. Now to laugh at a terrible Northern Irish accent, watch this video. Or to hear an excellent one, watch this one instead. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.